Hey there, friends. Got a chowder reaction for you. Is this dish like just enjoying it? Oh my goodness. For free? Mahjong night. Mahjong? I don't know how Mahjong works. And now there's a whole episode based on Mahjong? I... That's one of the games I try to learn, but I can't understand it. I was still distracted by that dish flipping over and it's got a butt and everything. <laughs> All right, Mahjong, let's do it. <laughs> oh, nice hat. Oh, oh, clap on. So what's going on? The ingredients. Oh. Oh, no. Chowder, come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. That, oh, wow. What a pause. Front facing Mung Doll won't hurt you. Mung Doll. Front facing Mung Doll isn't real. He's actually real. What an interesting way to chop up all the veggies. He's become the blender. <laughs> what an interesting time to pause, right? Oh. It is dumb. What are they making? All right. Good night, oh. See you tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Meveled. Meveled? I thought they were double dagged. Double dags. I haven't had many double dags, but they're okay. Do you like double dags? But. I wonder if they say Mevil Eggs because, you know, it fits in with the Chowder universe, or they can't say Devil, you know? Maybe they can't say the Devil in Devilish Eggs. Devil, Devil Eggs. Metal? Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, the paw! The paw! <laughs> the last thing you say before you die is if I if I if I say yes, can I get a metal egg? But one question: Why is there metal in the? Oh, metal eggs! It's metal in there. Oh, that's why they're called meveled. Who wants metal in their eggs anyway? <laughs> well, give him a snack. Chowder needs his snackies. Oh boy. They start eating him. Oh. Nibble eggs. You Empanada? Kill you. Oh yeah, these are these are these these are the kinds of old ladies that say what they want to say. They will get violent with each other. They will start spilling tea and gossiping with each other. But I love that one of the ladies is called Empanada. Empanadas are so good. Ladies, ladies. Oh. Mung Doll, really in front of your wife? Enough here to satisfy you all. Oh, squats. Uh, squat. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Mung Doll was like, there's enough of, like, you know, he did the eyebrow raise. You know what he meant. There's enough Mung Doll for all these ladies around here. Like, in front of your wife, Mung Doll, really? Really? Ladies? Is that so? Cause that's what women do. They keep you from having what you want. Wow. I don't know if that's just Mung Doll's commentary on women, but it's like, wow. I think Mung Doll's like, I want all these ladies, but my wife won't let me have all these ladies. So tasty. And they do look good. Tasty, oh. Tell you about 
my wife. Oh. And it's important, you understand. Very important. Oh, boy. Game seriously. Oh, she's a gamer for sure. When she plays, she turns into a beast. A beast oh. Majangasaur. Uh, that's my favorite Pokemon, Majangasaur. It evolves from Venusaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Majangasaur. <laughs> So yeah, we've seen Truffle's gamer side during the during the during the mini the the cinnamony episode. There we go, Min, the cin the cinnamony episode. She was gaming and gaming and gaming until she won. So she's got that gamer mentality right there. Do not get her on Call of Duty. You know this great moustache I have? Yeah. Oh. Well, it used to be part of an even greater moustache beard. Oh, oh. moustache beard. Oh. To said I was distracting her from her game, so she ripped it. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, the game is afoot, but dang, I would like to see Mung Doll with that beard and moustache combo. I'm a fan of facial hair, even though I'm a tuna and I don't have hair, but... I have scales, do that, does that count? But mustaches and beards, they look great. Combine them together, and it's the great combo. <laughs> Remember, child being a professional means having patience to sleep tight and to more. Oh, you look at Chowder. Meveled eggs you want. Creamy, delicious, meveled eggs. But why would you say that before going to sleep? Suppose eggs taste like. Yeah, I, I think they taste like farts. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, you eat some eggs, you fart, and it smells like, yeah, it smells bad. But why would you talk about food like that before you go to sleep? Being a chef must be difficult if you end up going to sleep hungry. But for Chowder, all he's going to think about are those meveled eggs, right? So you're putting a kid who always eats to sleep after talking about creamy, delicious meveled eggs filled with metal. I'll bet they taste awesome. <laughs> Thank you, kimchi. Why are you eating your blanket, bro? Okay. What do you think, kimchi? Psst. Not one more thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all over the place. Why is it so hot in here? <laughs> I mean, that is a mood, though. Have you ever tried to go to sleep and for some reason it's like really, really hot for some reason? It happens. It's just weird where it's like, oh, the room doesn't feel like the room feels nice tonight. You try to go to sleep. Why is it so hot? Yeah. He's gonna eat it. Whoops! My pillow fell. Oh! My pillow fell again. He's being—he's doing that Whoops. child thing. He's being a big old Whoops. child. Whoops. Clever idea, though. <laughs> it hits. Oh. Does my eye look swollen? And I was like, yeah, it looks swollen. And I was like, oh yeah, because I punched you in the face. That's why I look swollen, you know. Shadow is doing that thing where, you know, the pillow goes all the way downstairs and the adults are like, Shadow, why, why, why are you down here? My pillow fell. It fell all the way down here in the kitchen. So I had to pick it up, but it kept falling down. Butterfingers. Well, normally it's hard to tell because he has those beady eyes. Oh. Beady. <laughs> How dare you talk about my husband like that? But when I looked, he was right. Zoom him. His eye was the size of a Yurgle's foot. Oh, what? I said, what did you do to your eyes? He must have rubbed something in it. That's what I asked him. Oh. I need that. I asked Honey, did you rub something in it? And then he did, but okay, I'm sure I, I understand the subtitles are a bit confusing when they place their Mahjong tiles because, uh, yeah, some of the 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 mahjong tiles they're calling out, the subtitles is not picking it up, I guess, or maybe they are called the dad and whatnot instead of six dead or something like that. But mahjong is a confusing game. I try to understand it. Maybe I kind of do, but it's not easy to pick up. I wonder why, out of all the games to play, 
Why Mahjong? I thought these ladies would be playing like dominoes. Dominoes would be easier to understand. I love dominoes. What he say? Said he didn't? Well, to make a long story short, it turns out he's allergic to the color puce. Puce? Wait, how? Allergic to. How can you be allergic to a color? Oh. Right. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, but first, how are you allergic to a color? Second of all, I feel sorry for that for that lady right there. My husband throws up when he looks at me. I thought I heard something. Oh. <laughs> Don't get too distracted, Truffles. <laughs> I want you to see what I beat you this hand. Ooh. Oh, you beat me. The only beating you will see is your own. How about we all those meveled eggs? Oh. Chowder. Don't mind me, oh. ladies. I, I thought was that was Chowder. Oh, here it is. My workout gear. Yeah, gotta stay buff, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mung Doll, really, in front of your wife? I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty sure that Mung Doll and Truffles have been married for a very, very, very long time to the point that Truffles is like, that's just my husband being a dumb, a dummy again. He does this all the time. But he knows he's stuck with me, right, Mung Doll? <laughs> oh! Ladies. Dang! That looked like it hurt. Aw, Chowder is just way too adorable, let me tell ya. The than I expected. Is he? I want more. Oh no, he likes the Mahjong tiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's crunchy than I expected, but he just ate a whole game piece right there. I wonder how the Mahjong game is going to go now that Chowder is literally eating the pieces. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> oh, if you win, do you? Oh. <laughs> I guess those weren't meveled eggs, huh? How can you tell? They weren't creamy, were they? They were supposed to be creamy and soft, unless those mahjong tiles are really creamy on the inside, but... Dang, he ruined Truffle's chances of winning right there. So, if you win at mahjong, do you just yell out mahjong? Like, if you're about to win Uno, you just yell out Uno! Can, like, what... Yeah, what about other games? Can I just yell out if I win? MARIO PARTY! <laughs> If I go down and apologize, Truffles will reward me for being so professional. Mm. Oh, that's good thinking, you sure. Whoa. Someone accidentally blocked up my door. <laughs> mm. Accidentally, sure. How is he going to get out of there now? Oh. The thing, the thing is, if you're doing this much, to think that you're going to get rewarded for apologizing, Chowder. Like, that's the thing about this kid. He doesn't think. He just goes with his gut. He just really wants those meveled eggs. You know what, Chowder? Just eat just eat the entire game. Just eat the just eat the whole game. Hey, kid. Oh. What the heck are you doing up there? Who the heck is that guy? Oh. Well, good luck with that. Can I just say that's my favorite character right there? That's gotta be my favorite character. The, the, that simple looking guy. And then Chowder just caught him up to speed on, on like truffle and ever on truffles and everything. And he's like, cool. That's my boy is singing. <laughs> oh, oh. The notes are real. <laughs> oh. What? Dick. Wow, that's gigantic. 
All I did was sing. Oh my. You're telling me all he did was sing and the notes were apparently real and then he's decided, hey, I'm gonna kill this kid. Yeah, why not? He sang, see, he, th like, those notes hit me in my face. He dies. Go, Chowder, go. Oh my. You are literally trying to kill the child. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, this is when it, the, the, the ladies are starting to fight each other now, but I love how they're just talking about Mahjong pieces, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, keep talking about Mahjong. I just want to know what's going on with Chowder and the guy that's trying to kill him with a giant cloud, you know? Just some, yeah, yeah, I just want to know what's going on there. Mahjong, eh. All right, Truffles. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh! show so much troubles literally just chained him up to the bed like yeah you can like, you can't get out of here now but troubles you do know that chowder literally eats anything oh my goodness this show literally has jokes after joke after joke oh boy is he gonna start cracking this music dub okay I'm down with it. <laughs> he looks so peaceful, though. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What is that stupid look on your face? What look? Oh no. Truffles did not account for you know Chowder being. Chowder. That boy is swinging from side to side to get those meveled eggs. All Truffles had to do was give him a plate of eggs, and that's it. He'll go to bed like a good boy. That's all you gotta do. If only he got a meveled egg, everything will be fine. But nope. You can't stop his stomach. You are wrong. Wrong time straight. Ooh, that's a whole lot of wrong. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> the beast is loose! Oh my... <laughs> oh my goodness, his teeth are getting all busted up and whatnot. You know what? This is Mahjong. That's the best Mahjong piece right there. He's gonna lay on that table like I play myself. Mahjong! Oh, wait, is she about to win? Oh my. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> You're joking. You're telling me that Chowder helped her win because she didn't get to say Mahjong and play the hand? Oh, dang. Okay, that's a twist right there. So Truffles must be happy that Chowder came in now. Take care, ladies. Good night, Truffles. Good night. My husband keeps throwing up whenever he sees me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the satisfying. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. What? 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 Are you kidding? There's a food that Chowder doesn't like? Are you telling me that Mahjong pieces were way tastier than meveled eggs? Those were Mahjong pieces. He ate those up like it was candy. Mevel... I, okay, you know what? Great twist, though. Great twist. He did all of that. He crashed the game many times to the point that he helped Truffles win, deserved an egg, and it was nasty. Have you ever had that moment, though? Have you ever had a moment like that where you saw a food and you're like, oh, that looks so good. It smells so good. Then you eat it and you don't like it. Has there ever been a food like that? It looks and smells good, but you don't like the taste. Do let me know in the comments about that, but what a crazy episode. I was not expecting a Mahjong game to be so chaotic, but you got old ladies talking smack to each other. You got a hungry child. You got a man trying to hit on other ladies in front of his own wife. This episode was nuts for a Mahjong game night, you know? It's just that they can make an episode about Mahjong, but the characters, the characters make it great. Good thing Schnitzel got out of there when he could. Good thing he has a home to go back to and a paycheck to get, you know? But, jeez, Chowder was just being super adorable this episode. And we got to see the Wrath of Truffles when she just ripped off, like, one part, like, half of, of Mung Dol's mustache like it was nothing. Clean rip, and that looks like it hurts. But man, this boy just ate Mahjong tiles and don't like muffled decks. That's insane. But this was a very fun episode. I do not understand Mahjong, and I don't think I'll know more from this episode. They didn't play much Mahjong. They laid down some pieces, but Chowder was the biggest piece of them all. But of course, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because this was a lot of fun. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll catch you next time.